journey with us on a mission trip to Honduras in the heart of Central America. The second largest country in Central America, Honduras is a nation of great diversity, both in its populace and in its natural resources. While mountains cover two-thirds of the land, the landscape also includes marshes and swamps, rainforests, cloud forests, and pristine beaches. With a rich multi-ethnic history, Honduras is also home to more than 6,000 species of plants, 700 species of birds, and a variety of rare mammals, making Honduras a biodiversity hotspot and an attractive tourist destination. But there is a darker side to Honduras, a side you won't see in the travel brochures. Honduras is also a nation where roughly half the population rank below the poverty level, and unemployment is estimated at a staggering 28%. With a per capita income of slightly more than $1,200, Honduras is one of the poorest countries in the Western Hemisphere. Health conditions in Honduras are among the worst in the Western Hemisphere. Healthcare expenditure is among the lowest in the region, and 30% of the population receive no health care at all. Infectious and parasitic diseases are the leading cause of death in Honduras, and widespread malnutrition, impure water, poor sewage disposal, and inadequate housing are major health problems, giving Honduras an abnormally high infant mortality rate. Also, 50 to 60 percent of all HIV infections in Central America occur in Honduras. At the end of January 2008, a small group from Maple Grove Evangelical Free Church departed from Minnesota on a mission to Honduras to witness firsthand the plight of the Honduran people, to provide assistance with special mission projects, to evangelize, and to bring the hope that only God's Word and God's people can provide. Journey with us and experience with us as we visit some of the people and places in Honduras.
our journey has ended, but the mission goes on. We hope that sharing this experience with us will cause you to ask yourself, where do I fit in this picture? What can I do to help? The answer can be found in the book of Matthew. Whatever you did for one of the least of these brothers of mine, you did for me.